stained or tell me what about the box? Well, that looks pretty good. It's stained with... Oh, did you do this? You yeah. built it? Is it stained or tell me what about the box a little bit? It looks pretty. It's stained with just blue stain and then it's got glaze coat on it, which is the same stuff they put on bar tops. Okay. And uh, what, what subwoofer is this? Uh, Crescendo Contralto 18. Okay. It's on a Crescendo BC 5500 with a 250 amp CES alt. All right. And this is a XP 3K? Yes, that's one of my extra batteries, right. and I have some Group 34 on my back floorboard. All right. And what's it tuned to? 34 hertz. 34 hertz. All right. Nice little mids and highs amp. What year and vehicle is this? 2016. 2016? Okay. What's your name? Brandon Shockley. Brandon. All right. With the shop and team Absolute Audio. Okay. And it meters um, Outlaw Windshield 146.2. I like your way they stay in the box. They look pretty. Yeah, we're gonna take eventually and do a f another face on the rear of it mm -hmm. and try to do a floating amp rack off the back of it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so <laughs> it won't be on the seat. Right. And this is that one ohm or? This is that one ohm, yes. One ohm, all right. Awesome. Oh. Let's see. Nice equalizer. Rich and wealthy, say help is wealth, that means I'm deadly. That's why they sweat me. Successful black man, what a fuck.
you bad, 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 bad. 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 Dude, you can hear the lyrics too. Oh, yeah. Clean, so you don't have just bass. You got. I'm actually down two eights right now. Oh, you are, and it's still clean. Okay. I had to take them out the back deck because I just ripped screws through the. Yeah. The basket. I'm gonna say you're flexing for breaking everything, man. Yeah. I had to take the eights out back there because it sounded like a dead fish fish flopping <laughs> around. So hopefully this coming season I'm gonna take the two eights and build little pods. Okay. Go over top the doors. Yes, sir. All right. And the door speakers are Timpano Slim 8s. Okay, the Slim 8. Oh, okay. Can I see you out there? Yeah. Oh, awesome. You can kind of see it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I like your rims, man. Thank you. Tax time special. Okay. Got the big three done. Yeah. Hot. Very. I always keep my hood open because of the way. For some reason. Just a tip, I don't know if you would do it ever. Nice. Awesome. Great demo, man. Thanks, man. That was a lot better than the last video. <laughs> I flex it a lot more, yeah. <laughs> it's good when you get to know your system and you tune it or you built it the way you like it. Yeah. You know, it's a good project and then you get louder. I'm about to try to test the port a little bit. Okay. Because that's what I can get in Port Devastator. Really? Uh, okay. That's how I do my 166. Yeah. <laughs> 166. That's impressive for a single sub port. I just set the new record today. Really? Yeah. What'd you get? 166.4. Really? Oh, so you beat the other guy? Chris Freeman? No. Because I had the state and world record first. Okay. Then he came along uh, and blew me out of the water. Gotcha. Well, now I'm an alternator. Uh, okay. <laughs> Heck yeah. Thanks, man. No problem. Nice to meet you. What's going on, guys? I'm Jake Navarro. I do daily cardio videos. Hope you enjoyed the build today. Pretty nice to see a little bit different. Um, something from the trunk that's pretty loud. Um, single 18, nice big port, pretty sweet stained box. Blue for an extra cosmetic hit for that. Uh, thanks for the demo, man. I'm sure you're watching. Hope you guys enjoyed his demo as well as the video. Be sure to like and comment some good feedback as always. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos every single day. So a lot of feedback you guys have been giving about my videos. So I really appreciate the feedback. It's really helpful as well as it helps me. And it gives me motivation to continue to post every day for you guys. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do the shout out of the day. I do one every single day, or at least most days. I try to keep up with it. So um, I like to check out cardio channels, whether you're one subscriber or thousands. I don't care. I'll check them all out. So today's going to go to Nubian Lock. He said, hey, Jacob, man, always great videos. How about a shout out here from NYC, state of mind? So there you go, man. I appreciate you watching there, Nubian Lock from NYC. Uh, glad to see your subscriber as well. And there's your shout out for the day, man. So got one thing to talk about real quick before I end this. Before that, just want to say thanks for always watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget, Instagram and Facebook, Jacob Barrel. A lot of people message me on there as well as post their own builds. So share, feel free to message me a link as well for your YouTube channel, your build, videos, etc. I'll even shout them out if you ask me. All right, so smooth surfaces on subwoofer boxes. So I just wanted to bring this up real quickly. Some of the benefits of why you should do maybe a smooth surface versus most people are doing carpet or even just painting over it where it's a little rough or rigid. So first off, cosmetic. Usually a smooth surface stained like he did with a, uh, a high glossy look, is a, it's, it looks really nice. Um, obviously you can tell. It might not look nice to some people. Everybody's got different taste of how things look, but I think it looked really nice. SPL, normally your sound waves travel a lot better on a smooth surface, especially a glossy finished filling, because what happens is the sound waves are traveling without that rigid feeling of the material. So having that glossy feeling, usually people use resin in the box as well. So on an SPL basis for the competitors, you wanna have that really high glossy um, 
like really nice um, smooth surface so that's what I'm trying to get at there last thing is wind velocity especially near the port and around the, the box area where all the pressure is going to go around you want that to be a smooth surface and that's going to give you a little bit better wind velocity normally for where pressure goes especially in the low end response near the port and where the, the um, all the pressure comes out of the port it's going to be you want that to be as smooth as possible nothing blocking it so don't have carpet in that area a uh, towel piece of paper wood anything make it as smooth as possible. So those are pretty beneficial for having a stained box or just some kind of glossy smooth box over carpet. Um, that's all I got for that. If you guys have questions or cardio questions in general, ask, I'll answer others. Till next time, Jacob Vile out once again.